Hi, I'm Iranian and I want to be a cabin crew. Can I be a cabin crew in Malaysia? So the issue here is that he's Iranian but then he wanted to be a cabin crew in Malaysia. Just to be clear, I am not Malaysian. <laughs> I'm from Philippines, so... You're half Malaysian. Sedated. Apa kabar? baik. It could be a cabin crew here. I mean, the... Uh, is it a girl? I think it's a I guy. It's a oh, Ariana. Oh, oh, yeah, Ariana. Ariana, same with my name. I think she could apply for it. Pretend Actually, we've got a lot of tech crew. The Who are Iranian. Or Afro, also from Iran. Yeah. So, if you want to apply it, good. Yeah, just try, just try. And then get your confidence. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're not really into English, you have to learn it. Yeah, you have, yeah, to, you have to learn it. From beginning, like every day you're gonna use the English as your main language. Is it a difficult becoming a flight captain? Did you attend any academic before going for the interview? Can you share your tips for interview please? Actually the interview got four or three stages. So the first one they're gonna check your for sure your height. height. Your height and then if you pass it for the female in Malaysia, uh, the minimum height you have to the height for female. One type. For the male, for the male at least you have one seven zero. So he was just asking if you go to an academy before you apply to the interview. Yeah, I did. Um, I went to Miontech uh, Academy for three months. Okay, so how does the what's the name Miontech? Miontech. Miontech help you in your interview? Did it help um, a lot or did I learn about the basic uh, about the airline academy and then how you gonna talk with the passenger? Um, and how you is it like called a flight attendant school? Not really. It's for uh, cabin crew and customer service. Yeah, it's it's both. Like it's just not about. Mm, but there's. And then you can learn about the customer service as well. Yeah, but in Philippines there's a lot of cabin crew school that you can check out. Uh, you just have to type um, flight attendant school in Philippines like that, and then you can apply there. Hello there, I am Vietnamese person. I'm really excited about your video. I just wonder how can I apply to cabin position and how I can make it. Thanks a lot. It's same with the Iranian, same with the Iranian, right? For sure you can apply because they don't just accept the Malaysians, they also accept other nationalities. Same with me, I'm from Philippines and we also have Indians and other nationalities here. So we just have to check out and watch out for their announcement if they have an opening and then you try like your luck. But still you gonna put your a lot of effort mm -hmm. to come here to attend the interview because I don't think that they've not got the interview. If you wanna be a cabin crew in Malaysia you have you to have to apply here. Up. If it's in Thailand then you go apply in Thailand. If it's in India you go apply in India. Uh, if it's in Philippines you go apply in Philippines. Your company give the same roster for you and your husband. Husband? Husband. Husband? Since when we already get married. Oh. <laughs> we got married. I don't even... I don't even worry. Don't worry, no. It's not my husband. Actually, Soon, guys, in the future. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gushing. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, they did give us the same roster. We were supposed to fly again. Right, we were supposed on to fly 21st, on 21st. Uh, COVID 19, they cancel our flight. Like, Actually, we're <laughs> so doing the BKI, BKI. Yeah. You know BKI, right? Uh, KK, Kota Kinabalu Airport. We were supposed to fly together. We were so excited. But then, uh, okay, lockdown. What to do? Don't you guys wear masks while you are on board or not allowed to wear over there? This. We wear masks. We do wear a mask on board and we also wear the glove. gloves. Required to ban kalugay. Um hindi po required. Sorry, speak it again. Um hindi po siya required pero mas ini encourage na naka curl or something na medyo may volume yung hair niyo. I know what's your height. My height. Oh, what 82. 
Mine is one five seven or no, five. No. No. Are you guys required to wear falsies in your airline company? Um, we're not required. Same with the hair. We're not really required, but we are encouraged to wear falsies because it looks nice. Hi, I have a question about your training. Are there any crew members who fell during training? Mm -hmm. If so, do they need to quit? Yeah, it is. If you fell for the first time, you got changed for a bit for sure. Yeah. Everyone and got a change. In your batch, you guys have for sure got failed. My, my batch, we got like last time they fell, but still they repeated. it. Not really failed because um, they give chances. So, for example, you fail, then you're gonna receipt, and then if you pass, then go. But then in our batch, um, the one failed. Same la, um, they fail, but then receipt and then move on. Um, hi, I have a question about your training. Hello, good morning. I will just ask you something. Is it hard to become flight attendant? Is it hard? Yeah, for sure. But so hard because you have to memorize your SOP. You for me, about the safety. For me, um, it's not it's not really that hard. I mean, it's tolerable. I, I think it depends on the person. Because for me, I prefer working on a customer service rather than working into an office and doing the same things over and over again. But we do the same thing, but then we don't see the same persons, right? But it's like different person every day. It's one of the like exciting exciting things. So we get to know like a every lot. This different person every, every day. day. Every different nationalities every day and then different You can learn the countries. culture of the Yeah, which is interesting. As ko lang po, uh, yung gastos po sa food sa inyo po ba or sa company lahat or lahat sa good ng company from Modi. Um, the question is, during our training, do we spend for our own food or do they give us money? They do give us allowance every day. Ten and points. At uh, ten points. Ten ringgit. Ten ringgit. Ten Once ringgit. you finish it, they're done. Once you finish it, you can buy it on your own, right? You're gonna use your money mm, your to 10 ringgit. But then 10 ringgit, but you can buy a lot. But still, they're gonna like, go give us every 10 ringgit every day. Yeah. Uh, they're asking if all of us are based in Malaysia. Nope. No. We have a lot. Uh, if you apply in Philippines, then you're gonna be based in Philippines, Thailand, Thailand, India, India, something like that. I'm a lady curious, where do you live during your current period? Where do you live? In two weeks, we live in Tuna Hotel Aeropolis, which is new with the economy. Okay, they call it CAE Academy. Yeah. Because if you're from Sabah, of your from, if you are foreigner, you're gonna stay there for mm -hmm. two months. The whole Wait, you, you're feeling foreigner. <laughs> No, because he's <laughs> because he's not from here, so he have to live into. That's why they provided. But then they provided if, for if you are Malaysian and then you're from here in Kuala Lumpur, then they won't provide. Because you have a home here. Yeah, for us, uh, we stay there for two months. You guys, two weeks. two weeks. What's the difference between cabin crew and flight attendant? I don't know which one to do, or are they the same from TV Go? It's the same. It's the same. Flight attendant and cabin crew is the same. It's the same. In our manual, okay, cabin he is the cabin crew. Is the one who in charge in the cabin. The crew will be the who in charge in the flight deck. But, but that's another story. I mean, the deck crew are the pilots. The cabin crew are us, the flight attendants. Flight attendants. But then we normally flight use crew. cabin crew. Mm, yeah. Cabin crew instead of. Or maybe steward or stewardess. Stewardess. Oh, we don't use stewardess. In in our case, in Come our on, case. Guys. So, right it's the same. It's, it's the same. a new generation. We don't <laughs> even use the steward and stewardess. Not really. Maybe in another country they still use it, but we're not sure. You I mean, in the cabin crew. In, Why? Just because in our case, cabin crew. crew. We're saying. Hello, are you allowed to put on some falsies? Yes. Um, can you please tell me, are they strict? For checking scars on hand, or is it okay? I am so confused about this. Can you please, please, please tell me? By Varsha Sharma. Do you have scars? I have a lot. I have a lot of scars. I even have a mole, but mole is a different story. I have a mole here, 
cute. And then, you know what? In Philippines, there's like a rumor that if you have a mole in your face, you cannot be a flight attendant, which what? is not true. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. It's not true. We have scars. We have pimple, but it cannot be worse because if it's worse, you have to cover it with makeup or heal it first for their dermatologist before you go to interview before you go to interview and, for you. and even if for example you're already working and then they find out that you're breaking out too much so they're gonna ask you to but for your products. yeah for your scars you can cover it with makeup it should be fine is there a hair rule? Uh, yes, we have hair rule as long as it's up and not gonna exceed here for the guys. Yes, have hair rule. Sorry guys, I wear the hat because my hair is so messy right now. But so they I'm also have a you. they also have a hair Sorry. hair rule. We sure got the hair. Oh, we just show your picture. Picture. My phone. It's here. It's here. It's here. I'm gonna put there. I wanna ask the accommodation where you stayed in Chun Hotel. Do you have to pay for it or it's free during the two months training? And each of the FA's training have like one personal room each or they are able to choose share room as well? In our case, no sharing of rooms. So my side also no. I have a We have individual rooms. individual rooms. And then the company paid for it. We don't spend a they single provide, cent. Provided they provide, for us. They provide everything. Oh, is it allowed to have teeth braces? No. No. Sorry. Okay, we but I used I used to wear braces before you. No. You didn't wear braces. This one is natural. Shut up. Oh, I have a... I, just, I have to clean it. I have a so. batchmate who still wears the retainer. I also have retainer, but then I don't wear it because I'm so lazy to like wear it every day. But uh, braces is not allowed. I'm so sorry. Was the training hard? According to some, uh, there are others na natatanggal. Is the training hard? It's hard. For sure it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> you have to really study every day. Study with your batchmates. Yes. Yeah. Be serious on the... What do you call it? Exam. Exams and studying your lessons and listening to your instructors. Because, yeah, you're gonna... It's a broad topic. It's not just about the customer service and serving coffees or teas. It's not just about that. Also about safety and everything. Hi, my name is me again. Can I ask if one day how many flights do you have? Because for me, it looked tired. It looked tired for those gaming crew and you as well. How many flight? One day, one flight. <laughs> how I wish. No, no, no. Four to six flights. But same makeup. Karel Trinidad, can they wear eyeglass during flights? Thank you, Paul. We answer it together. Is it a yes or no? One, two, three. No. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Because Sorry, it's Paul. also uh, part of the safety that if you're wearing glasses and knock on wood, something happened, it could. It'll be. Especially in turbulence, right? Yeah. So it's a safety safety issue also. Not just for fancy and then you look good without glasses. No, no, no. But you can wear contact lenses. And then we have cabin crew who are not in 2020 vision. Or 2020. Not sure. Yeah. I didn't check it. Uh, they checked it last time. He forgot. Because <laughs> me, I remember I was 2020. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Eat, eat vegetables. No, I don't eat vegetables. You don't even eat that veggie. Our last question is How, how much, much is the salary, salary of, of a cabin crew? crew? You guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for that, we're gonna answer it on a different vlog and we're gonna make it special and separate. So, yeah, that's Sorry, it. guys, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you about our salaries if you wanna know. So Keep on watching. <laughs> keep on watching. You have to upload for it. <laughs> You're ruining my vlog. So, if you want to know how much is the salary of a cabin crew, just keep, watching, keep on watching and make sure to subscribe so that like. yeah, so that you'll know if we already uploaded a new video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and that's it for our vlog, vlog today. today. I don't know the title yet, but that's it for See our See you guys. Bye. Uh, Salamat po. Kiss you.